Well, well, what's going on everyone? RCA4 here, like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, I've joined the 124 scale crawlers. I never thought that I would get into the 124 scale crawler vehicles, but a lot of my local RC buddies are starting to run the 124s, and I was like, you know what, it's time to get one, but if I get one, I definitely want to be totally different from everybody else's. I want this one to stand out, be unique, and I definitely found one. So my friends, I found this right here is the Rockstar MOA 124 scale crawler. Now MOA stands for motor on axle because this vehicle has two motors, one on the front, one on the rear axle. It also has four wheel steering. How crazy is this my friends? I've never seen a 124 scale MOA style crawler that had motor on axles and is four wheel steering that's just really freaking cool my friends now check out the body or the out you know the body of it actually it's a nice little metal you know covers says it right there there's the name if you can see that and the rock star i call it rock star because uh it's just missing the r so i just call it the rock star got your little nine gram servos right there on the front you got your shocks there. Now these are not oil-filled shocks whatsoever. They're basically a spring, which you don't really need oil-filled shocks on a 124. You just need something, a spring to you know, kind of give you that little bit of articulation and flex or whatever. But uh, it is very, very sweet. Now let's talk about what comes with the vehicle because this is an RTR, but you do have to supply your own battery pack and batteries for your controller. So let's talk about the controller. We have a normal style RTR pistol grip controller, 2.4 gigahertz. Takes uh, four AA batteries. We'll put that back on there so I won't lose it. Now, up here on the keypad, you have uh, you got three different buttons here. This controls your uh, throttle, your steering, your DR, and then you have another button that says mode, which has four different modes and that allows you to operate the four wheel steering so you have one mode is for the front steering and then the second mode operates the rear steering and then the third mode is your crawl your uh, crab feature where you kind of like you know go <laughs> some kind of crazy way and then the fourth one is the four wheel steering where if you turn right both you know the front and rear turn together at the same time. So yeah, but uh, yeah. Now, the vehicle does not come with its own battery pack. Like I said, you have to supply the battery pack and the batteries for the controller. Now I picked up this little, if we focus, I picked up this little zippy pack. It's a 7.4 two cell 350 amp, milliamp uh, LiPo battery with, I believe what they call this, the J, J connector, I wanna say. But uh, it's not bad. And these batteries are fairly cheap, so I went ahead and picked up two. They run for about $4.80, so not really bad ordeal on those just to have that. So there you go. All right. So I say we give it a little test out here on the workbench, maybe set up a little course or something like that, and uh, let's test it out, see how it does. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and give this a whirl. So let's try it with the front steering only. So we've got front steer. Let's run it. Nice and smooth. That's pretty good. Turn. Let's back it up, get it in the camera there. Whoop. <laughs> little crawl action there. Let's back it up. Trying not to run off the side of the uh, station here. Full throttle. Yeah, not too bad on full throttle. Alright, so let's do mode two. Now this is going to be rear steer. Yeah, we got rear steer. I've never drove a full-wheel steer vehicle before, especially in a crawler. 
at all the years of being in it, I've never done it. So this is very different for me. All right. So, now let's switch to uh, mode three, which is gonna be the crab feature. Oh, how crazy cool is that, my friends? <laughs> I like that. That is really cool. Let's turn it right that. <laughs> I like that. All right, so let's switch to mode four, which is all wheel steer. Nice sharp turning there. Very sharp turn. All right, so let's test this thing out with a a rock. <laughs> if you don't have a house rock, you're not really a crawler. I have one inside just to test out the vehicles and stuff like that. So let's give this thing a shot and see how it does. All right, so we're in full wheel steer. Wow, my friends, look at that articulation right there. Nice and slow. I feel like it almost has like a drag brake, or not a drag brake, but I feel like it has like overdrive because the front is spinning faster than the rear, but that could be me, I don't know, but look at that thing. Crazy center gravity right there. Crawling around this whole little rock here. That is too insane, my friends. I mean, I thought this thing would like flip over, roll over, but definitely it's surprising me. All right, so let's try with just front steer here, see if, how well it does. Well, that little sucker is impressing. Oh, it did it, it went around it. Let's back it up. All right, so let's go up the rock if we can. Awesome. I tell you, my friends, I am loving this. We'll see if we can go it the other way. Could it do it? Will it do it? We went up high. We went up high, so rock it loose a little bit. Now this little this rock here is pretty not aggressive. It wants to go. All right, let's switch to rear steer and see what we can do with that. Can we make it up it? Can we make it up it? It wants to go, it's so, oh, down. It went down. All right, <laughs> make sure I got the right way. Oh, will it do it? Oh, will it do it? We're dipped out. But look at this, my friends. Look 
at that. Super cool. Let's see. We got that rear steer. Let's do four wheel steer. Pulled right out of it. I tell you. I'm thinking definitely four wheel steer steering is the way to go. Look. Look at it. Little three wheeling. Why still crawling? I like that. Okay, my friends, I'm really just blown away with this vehicle. It is extremely awesome. It's doing a great job crawling up this rock. Let's turn it back. Let's go up. Like I said this rock is pretty kind of slippery. It's not very rough rock, so... Uh, oh! I uh, see. Let's see. Maybe the bottom. Uh, the bottom's bottom's pretty slick, but also very tall. Yeah, let's try it out. Let's see. I don't think we're gonna do it. Oh no! Turtle, 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 down again. But my friends, I have to say, this thing is just super cool. Let's take a closer look at it. I am very blown away at how well this vehicle is doing for the size of it. It is extremely awesome, my friends. I would highly recommend getting one of these just because it is so cool it's definitely unique it's not like the SCX 24s or any other 124 scale vehicles this thing is just super awesome this is a full on <laughs> MOA style comp rig I mean come on look at this it basically just slides over everything at somewhat if you can get over it but that is crazy I really, really like this thing. And the just the amount of uh, articulation it has, it does really great, my friend. So uh, look at that. <laughs> that is really cool. So, and that's just without doing anything, it'll stay up. So, yeah. Well, there you go, my friends. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, click that like button. And if you got any questions, please comment down below. I will also include the links down below where you can get this really cool vehicle from Hobby King. It is definitely well worth the money, my friends. I'm having a blast with it. I'm going to get out to a 124 scale crawler course here soon to really give it a good test run and see exactly how well this little vehicle will do so yeah all right my friends so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next upcoming video thanks for watching